Hello everyone, I am super excited because I have a great project for you guys today. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Please subscribe to this channel because I will be bringing great projects, creativity and inspiration. I am excited to be part of this month's challenge from What Would You Make? As host, uh, we have Zena from OK At Home DIY and also Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. And as a guest, we have Marika from Marika Creations. Additionally, I'm gonna be adding the playlist down below for you guys to see all the creations. Okay, let's get started with this awesome project. Okay, we're gonna be using uh, those two uh, trays from the plus section at Dollar Tree and also those two uh, wall hanging decor. Those four pieces, I got those from Amazon. And also we're gonna be using a, a handle that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. I ended up using a different one. Uh, and lastly, we're gonna be using those dowels that I got also from uh, Walmart. All right, so what we want to do is uh, glue each dowel to each corner of the hexagon tray. Uh, I am using just tacky glue to, to do this. I, I really like how this glue works on wood. So this is uh, what I'm going to be using mainly for this project. As you can see, I am using also some of those uh, mini clamps from the craft square section. And uh, so I'm going to do this in each corner. So you're going to be needing uh, six dowels total. Do you guys know of any uh, good uh, TV shows or good movies? Um, I don't watch a lot of TV, but uh, I have watched in the past uh, Shit's Creek about three times. I, I think I find that TV show really funny. I think it's great. Uh, if you have not seen it, uh, go ahead and watch it because uh, Canadian humor is pretty cool. It's very, very nice, uh, well-made uh, TV show. So yeah, let me know if uh, there is anything similar to that because I'm looking for something something similar. And let me know, uh, yeah, about any TV shows or movies. Um, so yeah, I really like those uh, mini clamps um, to use for, for this project. They were perfect, they, they hold really well, except for one that just fell off. But, uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun creating this because it was, in my opinion, it was really easy to to make. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little while and now I'm gonna be moving on to work on something else. I'm uh, putting two pieces together because I think uh, just one is too thin. So I'm, I'm going to together to bring more dimension to the lantern. This piece is going to go at the very top and it's gonna be part of the handle. I forgot to mention in the beginning of my video that I'm going to be using some of those blocks also from Dollar Tree. These blocks are going to create a cool design for our lantern at the top and the bottom. What you want to do for this part is to glue the block at the very edge of the hexagon piece there.
Okay, so one is done. And now I'm gonna show you where this is gonna go on top of the tray. And I just place it like that. We're gonna be gluing this really, really well. And now I'm gonna be uh, adding the other side. So I'm gonna be repeating the same steps. I'm gonna be uh, adding glue to each side. So basically each corner attaches in two different points and that's what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, putting glue on both points on each dowel and then at the base because uh, this is going to help to reinforce the entire lantern. Now I'm gonna be adding some clamps so I can keep my dowel straight and glued to each corner of the tray. And this is what we have so far for the lantern. So this is the, the main section of the lantern. This is the base, if you may. So I'm gonna be using uh, this beautiful color. It is agave blue and it is made by Waverly. I'm gonna be painting a very specific area before I glue the crown. I'm gonna be calling this part the crown. So I wanna do this because otherwise I'm gonna be uh, having a hard time trying to paint under the crown if it is already glued. Friends, I would like to connect with you, so please subscribe to this channel. I am working on other projects and they're coming along so good. And I would like to continue sharing them with you, so please subscribe so you don't miss anything. So this section is down, now I'm going to be moving on painting the crown and I'm going to be painting just the inner part before I glue it. I want to thank my subscribers and I hope uh, you are enjoying my projects. This is a very versatile lantern and you can use it all year long or special events like in weddings or anything like that. So if you make something like this, please share with me. I would love to see your creations. Um, again, this was a very exciting project because the outcome was so beautiful. Uh, stay until the end because uh, I have a photo shoot. Uh, they turn out really good that I would like you to see. Now that I have painted uh, those very specific areas, now I'm gonna be gluing the crown to the top of the lantern. Once you glue the crown to the lantern, pull out a ruler just to make sure that your crown is center. 
so your lantern looks good. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side. I'm going to be painting the inner part of the second crown before I glue it to the lantern. Now I'm going to move on to paint those two pieces. I ended up using only one for the handle. For those pieces I ended up sanding and putting some spackle to make every side smoother before painting. And this is what we have so far for the lantern. Look how good it's looking and coming together. I decided to use this handle from Hobby Lobby and I ended up paying only uh, half the price. I used this uh, tacky glue to glue this small piece to the crown, but I don't recommend it because uh, it fell off. The black chalk surface uh, is made of plastic and uh, it just didn't glue well at all. I recommend uh, using uh, E6000 or a stronger glue. You guys, we're almost done with our lantern. Everything's coming along so well and it's looking so beautiful. And this color is just popping up. The paint is now dry and this color brings the entire lantern to life. Look how beautiful and gorgeous it is. Finally, it is time to add the handle to the top of the lantern and we should be done. Before I do that, I would like to mention that I uh, distress the entire lantern just to bring the beauty of the shape to the surface.
Are you ready for the grand reveal? What do you think of the final product? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe.